Hi there. Welcome back to an episode of Angela Shows You. So I'm getting ready to make myself a protein shake and I thought, who wants to some tips and ideas and thoughts about how to up your game on your protein shake? Are you looking to add more veggies to your day? Are you looking just for some different ideas of things that you can do to add? Uh, whether you're using plain Greek yogurt as your protein base, whether you're using a protein powder like I use. So um, one of my favorites is Quest. I love it because it's very high in protein. Um, it has only two grams of carbs in it. So this one is excellent. I also really like the taste of it. Um, I love the salted caramel is amazing. However, I do tend to buy a lot of vanilla protein shakes and that is because I, in my personal opinion, vanilla protein shakes are so versatile. If you wanted a salted caramel, you could take your vanilla protein shake, you could add a little bit of caramel extract, you could add uh, you know, a twist or two of um, sea salt, and then you've got fr uh, the salted caramel. You could add, a, you know, a handful of pretzels, and you could have a salted caramel pretzel. Uh, to the vanilla, you can add strawberries, you can add peaches, you can add chocolate, um, cocoa. So, I like to add either Nestle or Hershey, the cocoa powder. You know, this for a tablespoon is only 10 calories. Uh, so it doesn't have, it's low kale without buying, you know, a dedicated chocolate protein powder. Now you can do a lot with chocolate. You can add blueberries, you can add cherries, you can add strawberries, a, a mixture of any of the above. My One of my personal favorites to chocolate protein is peanut butter, either reg, regular peanut butter or the PB2, the powdered peanut butter, uh, and a banana. And then you've got chocolate peanut butter banana or just peanut butter and chocolate and then it almost tastes like drinking a Reese's peanut butter cup. So there are so many different options of what you can do to make protein. So I've got my protein powder in water today. And then uh, if you watched my video the other day on the peanut butter and jelly baked oatmeal, we've got the rest of that banana that we froze. So I'm actually going to drop the frozen banana into my protein. I will go ahead and add just a little, we'll add just a little bit of the chocolate too. If you're looking to up your veggie intake, one of my favorite ways to do it is to add some frozen riced cauliflower. This will not only make your protein shake colder, but the riced cauliflower is also going to lend a little bit of creaminess to it, so it's delicious. And then sometimes I also actually like to add in some extracts. That gives you a little bit of various flavor without adding in extra calories. So currently one of my favorite things to add in is orange extract. I love the orange extract when you're doing strawberries and bananas and then you've got an orange strawberry banana. If you're doing that in vanilla, it's just it's delicious. Uh, the other one that you can add into either chocolate or vanilla is a little bit of rum extract. If you do chocolate uh, and banana and a rum extract, that's very delicious. So th there are so many options of what you can go ahead and add into your protein shake. So today though, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I've got the 
half of the frozen banana, I added some riced cauliflower. I am going to add in um, a little bit of peanut butter. So one thing you know that you do want to keep in mind is peanut butter is pretty high in calorie so depending on what your calorie goal is for the day you don't want to go too crazy on the peanut butter because you'll really jack up you know you're going to take a, a relatively low calorie protein shake like the quest is about 110 calories for a scoop so that's pretty good um you've got for this two tablespoons for the, this is the store brand peanut butter, but this is 180 calories for two tablespoons of peanut butter. So you're now, you know, you're, you're looking at, granted the rice cauliflower is, well, 20 calories. The banana though, so you've got 110 calories for the scoop of protein, 180 calories for here, 20 calories for this. So this right here is 200, and then you've got the protein is 300, half the banana. So, you know, maybe probably about another 50 or so calories, give or take. So you've got, a th you know, 350 calorie, which is good. That's good. Um, especially if you're using your protein shake maybe as a meal or to supplement, to go with a meal. Uh, if you were going to do it as a snack though, generally the guideline is like two to 250 calories for a snack. So you might want to scale back just a little bit, either skip the peanut butter, you could, um, or you could skip the banana and add banana extract. That way you're getting the banana flavor without the calories of the banana. However, you don't have the nutritional value of the banana either. So you just have to play around a little bit with what you want. So now I actually need to just go ahead and add a little bit more water in here because I didn't put a lot. Love my blend jet. However, I'm going to, um, well, I don't think it's going to be too awfully loud. <laughs> So this is nice and thick. So that came out nice and thick and creamy, and this is going to be absolutely delicious. Mm. And I promise you, you would not know that there's veggies in there. You would not know that there's riced cauliflower in there. The other veggie that I will mention that I really like to add into my protein shake is a handful of fresh spinach. Um, I don't usually add the spinach when I'm making a vanilla milkshake because then it's green and there's just something about sometimes drinking something green that's like, ugh. but if you're putting it in chocolate, you would never even know. It just, the green from the spinach just makes the, the chocolate browner. But um, it's a that's a great great way to go ahead and add veggies into your day if you're looking to if you don't like veggies and or you're looking to increase your daily intake of vegetables, adding something like that into your protein shake is an excellent way to do it. I like the riced cauliflower because it does thicken it up a little bit, makes it a little bit creamier, and just makes it a little bit colder. So I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that it's given you a little bit of inspiration and ideas of ways to jazz up your protein shake a little bit. Um, 
some flavors for you that you try if you try any of them please leave me a comment and let me know what you thought give this video a thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe to angela shows you we got lots more to come have a great day everybody bye bye